Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome to my studio and I'm glad that you have returned to watch another uncensored video. Um, this is going to be segment 12 and this is a video that's based upon a painting that I'm doing of my mother and I uh, when I was a baby. Uh, I'm not used to filming in front of people as I paint so this is new for me. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on the hair. She need, my mom had really curly hair, really wavy curly hair, and in this, this painting that I have right now, it looks kind of on the flat side. So I wanted to go in there and give this some depth to it, and I thought while I was in there, I would do some to my hair, which is the little girl's hair as well. Just give it some depth so that when I go back in and finalize it, it will have some dimension to it, and I think that's going to spark a lot of interest. What I'm going to be using today is a flexible modeling paste. And what that is going to do is I'm going to put it on here and it's going to give me some ups and downs so that um, that will give me the depth that I'm looking for. I will then, after it has dried, and I, I believe it takes at least 24 hours to dry, I will then go back in there and I will spot paint it. So that it, it even shows even more so the uh, highs and the lows in the hair. I'm going to be applying this with a spatula. I'm using an oval one because I'm trying to get some um, waves in her hair. I decided to use this oval one to see if I can accomplish that better than a flat, a flat straight one. So um, here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you up closer so that you can actually see more about what I'm doing. So bear with me here while I adjust everything. Here we go. I'm going to just, just take the modeling paste. I'm going to put it here. Now you'll see that it's white, but it does dry clear. So um, it's actually good that it's white because you can actually see where you are. I'm just going in here and I'm just moving it around. Right now, just kind of placing it. Then I will go back and I will accentuate my curves a little bit more. I'll start on the outside, bring it in to the inside. Some of you may be thinking, oh no, what is she doing? And you know what? I, I have those feelings all the time. Oh no, what am I doing? But you know, it always works out. It's kind of, um, thick so you really have to push to move it around doesn't this look fun Okay, so we're going to go in now. We're going to move it around a little bit and see what we get. Can you actually, no, you probably can't, but what's happening is there is um, some waves going on. 
that will actually show up more after we paint over it. Let me see if I can get you in just a little bit closer. Does that help? Probably not. Okay. I'm going to take some of the modeling paste and put it over here on my hair. But because I'm not trying to get curves or waves with her, with my hair, I think what I'll do is I'll use a spatula, a, a long one. And I'm just going to, I don't want so much on this one, so I'm just going to put it on and then scrape it off. And that's going to give me the effect of strands of hair, which is what I'm trying to accomplish here. with her one thing you find when I'm creating art I'm not I'm not really afraid to try new things because it's through the trying new things that you actually find something that you didn't know that you could do before that's what this is all about trying something new and it can be scary but you know what I'm actually not really digging my mom's hair, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here with and with this point of this spatula, and I'm going to deliberately make some waves in here, almost like when you ice on a cake. That's what I'm doing. It's like icing on a cake. Yeah, this is working much better. It's, you can tell that it's starting to settle already. It's getting really thick. So it's really hard to move. I think I'm going to leave them alone at this time. I'm going to pause this video for a moment. And when I come back, then I think what we'll do is we'll go in here and do some more uh, shadowing on, this, on the little girl's dress. Okay. I'm going to be just doing something to her dress. The dress is fine the way that it is, but for the stuff, the way that I like to do my work is this is when I really start fine tuning all my work and I get involved in the details. This part of being involved in the details is what I like to do. I don't like it when I'm anal about a line and all that, but this is very important to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, for me, in the pink dress, I'm going to be using pan pastels. In case you don't know what pan pastels are, they come in an array of colors. And what it is, they use the same kind of pigment that they use for soft pastels, which is on a stick, and they compress it. Well, I don't know that it's compressed. Let me take that word back. They put it into a shallow pan. So you have the option of using multiple tools in order to apply. One of the things that I like to use is foam. Um, my husband bought me one of those noodles that you the kids use when they're first learning to swim. And I like to slice it up. And then I use pieces of it and I use it as a way to apply my pan pastels. So I think what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to go in there with um, a darker color and I'm just going to go in here and, and, and mark up some of the dark areas just a little bit and to, for the shadows. And I'm being very loose with it 
but it's it's cre it's for the shadows. And as you can see, when it when it comes down, it it doesn't come off um, in a solid. It's kind of soft. The other cool thing about using this is that if I didn't like something, I could erase it, which is also very cool. To me, this is when the magic starts to begin and you start you start seeing things really take some shape and some, uh, I call it movement. I don't like my artwork to be flat, and so I try to create some sort of movement within the artwork itself, and this is one way. Now, what I did was, um, I think I'm going to be pretty close to being done with the, the shadows that I want to put in. Let me put this a little bit over here by where I'm touching my mom. And we'll go back in here too. Then I'm going to go in there, and you don't have to do this. If, if you want to use another color, I could just actually wipe this, um, this applicator off until there's no color showing and then I'm ready to use another color but because I'm using this what I will sometimes do is I will just break it and I start afresh I have so many of these that's what I do now I'm going to go in there with a pink a pink pastel and see so you get it on the sponge and then you just go in here and this is going to provide me with some highlights And you really don't want to rub into the pastel because they're so soft. Um, that's what people have a tendency to want to do because they don't get a, it doesn't look like a lot is coming off. And there really isn't a lot coming off. But that's also the beauty of using pen pastels. This, you do have to apply fixatives after this. If you get anything wet on it, it will run. So you want to apply something. Uh, I think it's needing some white in there. So let me see if I can grab some white right here. And I'm going to pounce the white on instead of, I'm just going to put some white on here and there. It's always a dance between the darks and the light. I could actually go back in here and draw a pattern on her dress, but I don't I don't think I'm going to do that. This is you know, I don't I just don't think I will. But I see something that I did lose was the division between her top of her dress and then the bottom. So I'm gonna go in here with a gray and I'm putting it on the very tip of this sponge and I'm just gonna go in here and drag it around like that. To get some I think I might even do it around the armpits there okay now I think for my mom I think I'm going to go in there and add a color to her uh, blousey area I actually am liking remember in one of the first videos I used soft black with white. I actually like that so I think I'm just going to go in there with a eggplant color and kind of like and I'm going to pull it up. See I got it on her arm. You see right here where it's on her arm. Uh, all I have to do is take an eraser and erase it and it's gone. No more is it a problem.
Doesn't she look weird with white hair? <laughs> Well, she actually didn't because when she got older she had white hair and she looked actually pretty good but in this picture it looked weird are we liking her with this color well you know what i can sit on it and if i end up not liking it i can go back and erase it I'm going to leave her with a white color. Okay, that's all for this segment. Thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one, uh, next segment, which is going to be segment 13.